Welcome back to another Jay-Z fishing video, you guys. And in today's video, you're gonna see us go to Elephant Rock and see me catch uh, a big smelt, jack smelt, and then see us catch this thing and cook it. So uh, yeah, let's get into today's video. When we first got to the pier, we decided to use a small hook with a bit of squid on it on my 20 pound braid on my new Lose American Hero plus 13 fishing concept A reel that I got for Christmas. I just sent that down to the bottom. It was a relatively slow day down at the pier and there were a lot of people there. However, on one of my last casts, I finally caught a fish. As you can see, it was this nice 10 inch jack smelt. So we just caught this jack smelt on a striper stalker swim bait. Uh, and we're gonna do a catch and cook with this thing. So uh, yeah, stay tuned terms of like what we use to catch that smelt. We use a three inch striper stalker. These swim baits are made by Fishing and Magoff, a local fishing YouTuber here in the Bay Area. A link to pick these things up will be in the description below. I'd highly suggest buying them. They're very cheap. They're extremely high quality. Uh, they catch fish and they are a great way to support a local business. So pick some of these up yourself. But another great way to catch smelt is on a sneaky rig or I baited with squid shrimp, anchovies, usually jack smelt aren't that picky. I've never before seen them caught on a swim bait, so that's a first for me. Uh, and it was a really cool experience to catch one on a swim bait, especially one made by a local YouTuber here in the fishing, or here in the Bay Area. All right, so we just got home and I'm gonna be doing all this filming on my phone, so sorry if the quality is not as good as it usually is. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna be using this fillet knife right here. This is what we're gonna be using to kind of fillet the fish. The flesh, the fish is, let's see if you can see it right there. It's all I won, but it's a video. We couldn't figure out what we could do because winter fishing is so complicated. We had no video idea, but this is finally what we're gonna be making as a video. So we're gonna set up everything and uh, start flying. Okay, so in this clip, I'm actually setting up uh, to fillet the fish. What I did is took a wooden stool that I had, put some paper bags, cutting board, the fish stool to sit on, and a hose to spray everything down. Okay, so for today's catch and cook, we're gonna be filleting this fish and then probably uh, frying it in butter and garlic, fisherman's lifestyle. Uh, so to fillet this fish, we're gonna be using this fillet knife here, which you saw earlier on in today's video. And I'm gonna go get my other two fillet knives that I own and explain why I'm gonna be using this one over the other two. So uh, let's go get those fillet knives. Okay, so let's see, these are the three fillet knives. Here's one, this is the one that I'm going to be using. This is one that I most recently got. And this is the third. So these are the three fillet knives that I'm gonna be using, or that I have. Actually, you know what, let me pop, let me pop the covers off of these blades. All right, that's much better. So in this fillet knife, this one's a lot higher quality. It's something you don't really take out of the house. This is something that's gonna keep in the house. Very expensive, I believe it was around $150 just alone for this knife. Moving on to this Mossy Oaks. This came in a set of uh, fishing tools. I also got with it this little braid scissors that are attached to my uh, shorts. It seems like an all okay knife. It's just not as sharp and it's a little bit short for what I wanna be using right now. This I think will be a very good fillet knife when it comes to catching bluegill and crappie. The third and final fillet knife on today's list is this Cast King uh, Blue seven inch blade. This is the only other knife that I might use. And the only reason I'm not using it is because it's a little dirty right now and it's not as sharp as the first one that I showed you in today's video. So that is why I'm gonna be using this one. Okay, so this is the jack smelt itself. Let's actually measure it real quick. I have these, uh, these sh the shirt that has a measuring tape on it. So it still looks to be 10 inches. That's really cool. Okay, so. Because we're gonna be filleting this fish, um, we're just gonna start off here with this fin right here. Uh, I believe this is the pectoral fin. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a cut down the belly. That's a clean slice. Just like that. Now we're gonna flip this bad boy. Other side, do the same exact thing. Just like that. Right now, we are gonna flip this bad boy back to this side. As you can tell, he's bleeding a little bit. <laughs> I think you hit a vein there. I think I had a vein. Yep. And you're gonna find that spinal cord. It's right about there. And what we're gonna do is just 
follow that spinal cord all the way down the tail, right? See how I kind of hit that spinal cord and just kind of went down it. And then up here, we're just gonna make a little incision and there we go. We're gonna come down here to the belly, do is just kind of follow down this anal, part of the bottom of this fish. Kind of doing the same thing that we did on the top of just following this anal fin all the way down to that part right here. So yeah, pretty much now you can just kind of try and get this fillet off the off the fish itself. Yeah, there you go. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so that's the first fillet and we're gonna clean up all that black stuff because that's not gonna make the fish taste very good. As you can tell, I missed a little meat there, but I haven't filleted in a while, so yeah. We're gonna do is flip this fish Ooh. over. <laughs> As you can tell, it's a little bit bloody. And we're gonna do the same thing that we did on the other side, so we're gonna find the spinal cord. Not as much meat <laughs> on that side. Okay, so as you can tell, I missed all this meat right here. Okay, pretty much just like that, we got a clean board and what we're gonna do. Let's take this bad boy right here and kind of get rid of this black stuff. Because what I've heard is this black stuff is not very good. So yeah, as you can see, I'm just scraping this black stuff right off. And it comes off pretty easily. As you can see, just like that. So now we have two cleaner fillets. We're gonna wash these bad boys off. Um, but yeah, so that's that. So this is the final product fillets. They look pretty clean and I believe that red is blood. Uh, someone tell me if I'm wrong. And I've got this on a paper towel on a plate that I put in the fridge until I was ready to cook them. Uh, but yeah. Okay, so the next step is to take everything that I need to make the seasoning. And that was dill weed, a little bit of onion powder, some garlic powder, some dried oregano, some dried grated lemon vest, and some salt and pepper. Okay, so this is kind of the setup we have. We have the seasoning, which you saw me make. And we're gonna use olive oil, slab of butter, and four cloves of frozen garlic. And we're just gonna pan fry this about five minutes on each side of the filet. So uh, yeah, let's get into that. Okay, so this is me taking the fillets out of the fridge to go get the seasoning on them. This is me putting the seasoning on the fish fillets. It was very complicated and please do your best to try not to bash me. I am in no way, shape or form a pro cook. But yeah, this is what they look like with the seasoning on them. I then put some oil in the pan uh, and then I cut my two pieces of butter in half and put them into the oil to have them melt. Then I put the garlic in and then it was time to put the fish in. After my five minute timer completed, I then flipped the fish to the other side. For one of the fillets, I removed the skin off the top to see if that would make a taste difference. Finally, the fish were done cooking and it was time to put them back on the platter. Uh, I cannot tell you how sm good this smelled, the mixture, looked, or mixture smelled very good, and afterwards the fish didn't look all that bad, it looked like it had cooked pretty well. All right, so we're gonna taste test some of uh, Joe's smelt that he cooked. It's a bit dry. A bit dry? Yeah. Yeah, not bad. So the final impressions of the meat were that it was not very good. I mean, I think if I were to try it again, I would definitely try butterflying it instead of filleting it. And I'm not sure if I would try the recipe that I used last time, I try a new recipe. Because I've heard some people say they're good, some people say they're bad. So let me know what you guys thought of today's video. Uh, go easy on me. This is my first time doing that. At least I've done a halibut, I've never done a smell like that. But yeah, tell us what you guys think and uh, you know, tell us what your guys' experience with smelt is like. 
you know? Because I, I would love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. We post videos every Monday and Friday, or at least we try to. Sometimes it can get hard, but we don't talk about that. Uh, make sure if you like today's video, leave a thumbs up button. Um, the merch link is down in the description below. There are new January merch designs coming out. Me, Joe, and Zach each designed one design, so that means three full designs are coming out from January 1st through January 31st. They are exclusive to January 1st through 31st of 2021. They will never be coming back, and uh, if you want to pick them up, now is your time. Uh, also, we do YouTube live streams Thursday, 4 to 4.30, uh, and yeah, see you guys later.